Hey guys, from the Soy Sass Assassin, welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we are doing this um Kristoff cigar. Sub $10. Um it's called Kristoff San Andreas. And I believe this is the same thing as the 2020 TAA version of it. It's the exact same thing. So it just doesn't have the TAA band. We continue to release this. It's a ugly, ugly cigar. It's rough and it's oily. It's almost like this leaf is dry and oily at the same time. We'll see how that goes, but take a look at the cigar. Christoph San Andreas Box Press Toro 2020. Wrapper is Mexican San Andreas, kind of obvious. Binder is Ecuadorian Habano. Filler is Nicaraguan Habano. Size is six and a quarter by 54. Box Press. MSRP is $9.80. Usually comes in a box of 20. Top is it comes with a really ugly pigtail and a really ugly foot. That's that's totally like messed up. Ugly is all I can say. The wrapper is extremely rough, dry, oily. Yeah. Dry and oily and rough and leafy. We'll see how that goes. Let's get started. Okay, so we're back. And yeah, as you can see, this this, this thing is just just leafy. Just leafy and oily, oily. So there's a difference between oily and moisturized, right? So like when you talk about humidity is how moist it is, but this is oily. Like I can feel my hand has some of the oil on it when I touch it. <clears throat> it's um, it's actually quite uncomfortable. Well, yeah, we gotta smoke it, so we'll smoke it. A typical San Andreas stink. A little bit of woodsiness. I don't think it's gonna have any draw to for the what the This thing has almost no cap, man. Alright. I don't even know how. Alright, this cap is next to our non-existent, so not much I can cut off. <clears throat> Tastes like grape, wood, and stink. Yeah, grape, wood, stink, and a little bit bitter. Oh, okay. Let's go. This thing's got to go all over the place. Oh. Oh, okay. Light up, it's just that dry leaf. You know, when you when somebody's burning leaf during the winter time, I mean that fall, like the end of fall, that's what it smells like. Just leafy. Yep, tastes leafy. <clears throat> Taste leafy. Leafy, damp, woodsy, grape. Pepper. A lot of pepper.
earthiness. Almost mineral like, like rock. Yeah, and then yeah, I'll just keep repeating that woodiness. Yep, that's it for for the beginning taste. I guess it's just not very complex. There's not much to it. Oh, that leafy, it's a really wet leafy taste. All right. So let's smoke first stir and I will be right back. All right, we're at first stir. Actually, more than first stir because I was smoking it. I was looking for stuff and I forgot how much I'm smoking. But first stir is not bad. It's just, it's like the typical San Andreas. A little bit of chocolate, a little bit of woodsiness. There's still that leafiness, earthiness, and um, a little bit of that uh, of, of a mustiness, but it's more close to that leafiness. Yeah, there is a little bit of espresso, but it gets overtaken by that dankiness and and that leafiness. So it's not very, very apparent, but it's still it's not bad. It's not bad, but it's not great. And but it's still got a characteristic of San Andreas. I smoked a few cigars that had San Andreas and that's totally ruined that characteristics of San Andreas. So this one so far, not bad. I couldn't say great, but it's not bad. Okay. All right. And also that pe there's pepperness too, but that pepper, pepperiness is like, at first it was very strong and it kind of dies down, which is kind of funny because it's got Habano in there, but it wasn't a very strong Habano. Very, not very strong spiciness to it. I don't know. So, all right. We'll be back second, third real quick because I only have probably 70% um, of the second, third. So. Be right back. All right, I passed second, third. Second, third, you get that characteristic of San Andreas, and then you also get a little bit of creaminess. So it's actually more balanced. Actually, tastes not bad uh, for for that. So second, third is balanced. Second, third is pretty good. All right, and uh, strength about medium. Body is about like medium minus, not mild, but medium medium minus. Got a little bit sweeter. It got a little bit more coffee flavor as well. So. Second third is not bad. So we're getting into the last third. I think the last third, it can, I can already start tasting this, the, the flavor kind of die down a little bit. But for what it is, I didn't think it's that bad. I didn't think it's that bad. Here's a band. You can barely read anything because everything's go, go, go. Go, go, go. First off, San Andreas. Go, 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 go. Here we go. So, not too bad. I like this band. This band's not bad. It, it, ca it caught me when I was looking at cigars. So, not very bad. All right, so last stir. Finish up, give it a price, be right back. All right, last stir. Now, although the last stir, the, the flavor died down, I think because of the, I don't know, the, the filler is less pass through, less, less filler. The, the San Andreas flavor kind of come up a little bit, but the overall, all the flavor wouldn't die down a little bit. It's not a big deal for this, this kind of price range cigar. It's kind of expected. Overall, I did enjoy it. Just not in an uh, impressive way, right? I still smoked it. I still enjoyed it. I still had good time with it. And that's pretty much it. I mean, you get the San Andreas. Um, you get a little bit of pepper from Hab uh, Habano. Yeah, and and there there is there is flavor, there's enjoyment, but it's not impressive. All right. With that being said, I give the cigar eight and a half, eight dollar and fifty cents. Uh, is where the cigar is at. Now, if you get the TAA version, which I think the only difference really just a band. I give it nine, <laughs> okay? Because you gotta pay for the band. So that's pretty much it. I mean, that is very close. Um, I think people can enjoy it, especially beginners, um, or even you're, you're, you know, three or four year into the the cigar and you you haven't find your way to the the 
more expensive, higher quality cigars or higher complexity boutique cigar, this will this will do it for you. This is actually not a bad cigar, right? So if you're not into the boutique cigar, this is pretty good. If you're into the boutique cigar, this is kind of boring, but it's there. It, it has flavor. Okay, so yeah, not a bad cigar. I could recommend people to smoke it as entry level cigar. Yeah, so that will be it for this particular cigar review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, comment, share. Check out our podcast, which will have new things coming up soon. And uh, check out membership, check out our swag. And check out live shows, Wednesday, Saturdays, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Join us on the chat, ask questions there. And I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.